Hello everyone, my name's Idiotic Synergy. If you're seeing this, it means my computer is finally working. Well, correction, the two programs I use to edit my videos are now working properly and aren't crashing the computer every 30 seconds. So, anyway, I think it's all sorted. So, I'm going to talk about the new kill team, the Ecludian Star Striders. Well, I say it's new, it came out around about the same time as the Gellapox Infected. But you can now buy them separately. Separately, However, there is an issue. It is no longer available online. And if you look on the thing, it doesn't say temporary. It just says sold out online. I do hope they get more stock so people can buy this kill team. Because it is a really well done kill team. Seriously, it is amazingly well done. I like this kill team. The fact that it's, it's all rogue trader base... Uh, based is really cool and the fact each and every model has like their own distinct personality and their own sort of pomp and ceremony to them fits Rogue Trader really well. I also like the little dog here. The, the little dog is the best dog. Well, one of the best dogs. Anyway, let's go through the models. So first up we've got this woman here who's... It, she She looks like something straight out of Dishonored. Seriously, most of these models look like they've come straight out Dishonored, and I really like that. The fact she's got, like, weird golden armor with, like, frills on her sleeves, it's like weird, like I said, it looks something straight out Dishonored. It's really cool. Also, her revolver is bloody massive. Here's a really, is that even a revolver? I don't know. Could be. I assume it is. Rogue traders have weird and wonderful weapons all the time. Talking of weird and wonderful weapons... Ah, uh, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, talking of weird and wonderful weapons, we've got this guy who... I, I think is my favourite model out of a lot of them. Because, just look at him. Seriously, that power pack... It just is fantastic. It looks... You know what, I said Dishonoured... I am wrong. He, this model looks like it comes out, it comes straight out of Bioshock Infinite. He, it's, it's really fucking cool. I like it. I like it. It's really sort of Bioshock, uh, well, Bioshock esque. I don't know. I, I've been too, I've been, I've been worrying about the computer too much because it kept crashing, and I thought, oh, I need to get it replaced, and I'm back at uni at some point, so. Uh, Anyway, um, so yeah, this model I really like. I like the little helmet he has. The little helmet's quite cool. I also want to know what that thing is. It's like a weird scanning device. But I do like his gun. His gun is just fancy. And the fact that it's connected to the power pack means it's probably really powerful. Or something, I don't know. It just, it just looks really cool. Then next up, we've got this woman here who's... It, she it, she reminds me, it's going to sound weird, but she reminds me of a pain, of a pain boy from the Orcs, mainly because it's uh, the giant needle and the way she has her hand out, sort of like in a weird claw thing. It reminds me of a weird claw thing, technical terms, uh, but it does remind me of a pain boy, but I do, I do like it. I, I also like this poor sod here, probably like some sort of plague bear or pox walker crawling out the ground and she just stepped on him. Poor sod. Anyway, she looks quite cool. I also like the little uh, thing on her helmet, the visor. That's really cool. The detail here is really, is I keep saying it, is really cool. Yeah, so it, it just reminds me of a pain boy, which is really odd, but... It's, it's just the stance. Uh, and hopefully during that little ramble, I will have shown you. I would have put in a photo of a pain boy. If not, then here it is now. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Anyway, next up is this woman here. She looks like she's an assassin. Seriously, really cool model. Really cool paint job. I... Is that a... I don't know whose head that is. But she looks like an assassin. Uh, she, if, hmm. I know the Eversaur assassin is... That she would make a good Eversaur assassin. 
She would. All you would have to do is replace uh, her hand here with a claw, and you have a really good Eversaur assassin. Seriously, it's a really cool model, and I would kitbash it slightly so it looks like an Eversaur assassin. It is really cool. The model is really well done. I all these models are really well done, to be fair, but. But this model I would kitbash into an Eversaur Assassin because Eversaur Assassins are really cool and it'd just be cool having a different Eversaur Assassin that isn't hoppy, isn't about to jump off something. So next up we have this guy and I don't, I like him. Uh, he, with, it's going to sound weird, but it reminds me of uh, God, Captain Keys. From Halo 1, slightly. I think that's his name. It's been, uh, it's been literal years since I played Halo 1. However, I, I don't like the weapons. The weapons look kind of generic. Because when when we look at all the, all the other weapons, like this guy's pistol, for example, this woman's bloody weird syringe of death or healing, depending on who you're asking... This, even this sword looks really cool and pom well pompous and almost ceremonial. It like every weapon has a distinct style to it. Uh, we don't well we can't see our revolver, but then you got this guy who's just armed with a basic pistol and a shotgun. I mean maybe it's the paint job, but I kind of would have liked to have seen this uh, the shotgun have like different patterns on it I'll maybe maybe make your own if it <laughs> but I would I would have kind of liked to seen the shotgun with with like a distinct pattern on it just so it would stand out like yeah all of these people are rogue traders and look how fancy their guns are though saying that I do like I do like the fact he's got his shotgun and pistol out and it he does look cool I, I do like the little medals he has as well. It is a really cool model. It's just, I would like a... I kind of would like the actual sculpt to have a distinct pattern on both guns. So, yeah, they look more regal, if that's the correct word. And then you've got the dog. Dog is perfect. If anyone criticises the dog for not looking perfect, then you're wrong. Objectively, you are wrong. The dog is amazing look how happy he is he's a happy little boy maybe you could add some augments to him but it's a dog dog is perfect dog doesn't need any bionics because it is a dog the dog is great if anybody has a problem with that fight me next up you've got this guy and i i like him and I know someone's going to... Uh, I don't mind the minigun being normal. Because it's the rest of him that stands out more than the minigun. It just looks like he found this minigun and was like... Right, I'm going to take this with me. And yeah, that's great. Uh, there's, I would kind of paint it, you know, gold. And have it be like bright and over the top. But... The rest of him does that. I mean, look how much gold and light colours he's wearing. He, he's he's basically, if he's any more gold and blue, you could mistake him as an ultramarine scout. I, I do like him. I like his little hat as well. His hat's cool. Everything about this model here is really cool. The fact he's just casually carrying a minigun is also pretty cool. So yeah, I, I, I like this guy. He's great. I, I really like the shoulder pads as well. The That's a bull, isn't it? Yeah, that is a bull. Or a hog. Mm. But I do... I do love the... I do love the armour. The armour is sick. The, the actual sculpt itself is pretty cool. Yeah, that's a really cool model. Again, all of these models are really cool. Then you've got this person here. Who... I... <laughs> I like, I like just because you got a sense that this person's new to the crew, hence the weird stance and everything. I, I like the fact 
It looks like he just jumped into action, like, yeah, I've got this. Woo, look at me. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone's like, Barry, get back for fuck's sake. It reminds me of uh, of Benjamin Carmine from the Gears of War games. Or any of the Carmines where they're sort of lame, but impressively lame. Like, first one was Anthony. Second, yeah, he reminds me of Benjamin Carmine. Just because of how impressively lame he is. <laughs> it's just like, woo, look at me go. And then, you know, he's going to get eaten by a giant worm. Yeah, Gears of War 2 was a weird game. Uh, God. I mentioned Gears of War 2. I remembered most of the dialogue about Dom and his wife. Oh, that dragged on. I remember I remember the death of Dom's wife, though. He pulled out a giant Boltock revolver and just shot her with that. It explodes heads, and he's like, right, I'm, I'm going to kill my wife. I'm going to make sure it's proper. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. But this is what happened. He's like, oh, it's an emotional moment. Here's your Boltock revolver. Thanks, mate. Oh, dear. <laughs> Sorry. I just... It's so stupid. It's like a normal stub... Like a normal pistol would do, but no, it's Gears of War. The dramatic moment must be cemented with a Boltock revolver and nothing else. I mean, oh, dear. I was, I was half expecting he pulled out uh, the shotgun just like, Sorry. <laughs> I killed my wife, but if I'm going to kill my wife, I'm going to make sure it's properly done. No. <laughs> she can't wake up. Oh, dear. Fucking Gizwar 2. That was a really fun game. Anyway, I digress. I apologise. But, yeah, this model is impressively lame. I like him. And then you've got this guy who's generic. Yeah. I, I don't have anything else to say. This model's kind of generic. I like the helmet, though. The helmet's really cool. Uh, the armor's cool. Hell, even the Laz... I think the Laz gun should be a hotshot Laz. Because it is rogue traders. I think uh, it sh he should have had a hot shot Laz gun. Instead, but it is what it is. And then I think that's it. Or Yeah, that's it. So, this was the Kill Team Ecludian Star Striders. Is it any good? I think the models in it are quite cool. Unfortunately, you can't buy it at the minute because it's no longer available online, so you're shit out of luck. However, if you can find it somewhere else in a different shop or store or wherever, go get it. I, I think it's really good. I, I really like the direction where, of where Kill Team is going. Where it isn't just Imperial Guard stuff and Space Marine stuff. That you have got Rogue Traders and the Imperial Navy. Which I think is really cool. So I'm hoping they'll expand into more weird and wonderful regiments for Guard via Kill Team. But I also hope for proper expansion for the Imperial Guard in 40k. All I want is Mordian Iron Guard, goddammit. That's all I want out of life. Anyway... I've been Idiotic Synergy. Sorry for rambling for so long. If you did enjoy the video, heaven knows why, but if you did, great. If not, then I don't blame you. And I'll see you next time. Take care and stay safe, everyone.